I thought it was. So you can either readjust your mask, and I think I'll try that. I'm just going to readjust my mask. Clicking outside, and then clicking on one of the lines, and we'll just move it over. And just that little bit fixed it up. And now there's no black borders. It's completely fine. And if you scroll through the timeline, you can see that the sniper is black. This shows up. Go to the next one. The rest of that shows up. Go to the next one. The whole picture shows up. That's the whole general idea. But we're going to add a little groove to it because that's boring nonetheless. So this is I'm just going to create the distance shorter so I don't have to do it later this is where we go to vent pan crop again but now we're going to be working with the position ah okay we're going to want it to slide. Actually, yeah, we'll work with the position of it. So, just need to get it out of the picture and keep it generally straight. It doesn't need to be perfect. And add a keyframe. Go forward. I want to see here. We're going to want this to end right on this next clip when the next picture starts. So right when the next picture starts is where we're going to have this end. And you can look over at the timeline. and Right click on the center where the F is. Just right click in the middle of that and click restore. And as you can see you look, ah, I hate when it does that. If you look on this top right box, you can see it slides in now. Instead of just popping up. And then we're going to do the same thing with this. We'll go to position. And we'll make this one come in from the top. I like having it come in in different directions. You can zoom out. You can either click on this, the zoom edit tool, and you right click to minus, left click to plus, and it does zoom wherever you click. But I have a center scroll on my mouse, which makes it a lot easier. But just need to make sure it's out of the picture. Make sure there's a keyframe there. And we need to see where the next picture starts. And right there is where this picture is going to end. And right click on the F. Restore. And now. It comes in right over that sniper and just sets itself there. And we're going to do the same thing with the top one. Go to position. We'll move this one, make it come in from the left. And this one. Since it's the last one, just make it generally the same length on coming in, the same amount of time, about a second or half a second, not too long. And then just click Restore, and it's going to come in from the left. And then that's going to happen. And as you saw on the first preview, it doesn't just come in, it kind of comes in and pops. Now 
let's take care of that. If you want to do that at the same time you're positioning this, you can. I think it's easier to finish that. But we're going to go one frame before it's finished. We're going to zoom it in. Go to the next frame. And click restore. Or it might already be there. So then it comes in bigger and gets smaller. And falls into place. So it doesn't really have to be one frame before. If you want it to have a fall in a little smoother, you can move the keyframe around to whatever distance. It'll come in bigger, and then it can get smaller and fall into place. I actually think that one looks kind of cool. And it gives that type of an effect that it just stops and zooms out into the picture, which looks really cool. So we're going to go with that. And we'll do the same thing on this one. We'll go just a few frames before it finishes. And we'll zoom it in. And now it comes in. And falls into place. I actually want to zoom it in a little more than that. Delete this keyframe. Move this one over. And now all that's left is the first one. First and last. We'll zoom back into the timeline. Go a few frames. Zoom it in. And it's as simple as that. I think that still looks a little choppy. We're going to move that keyframe on it to zoom in. That's way too far. Ugh, I got my keyframes mixed up. Needs to be that way. So we're just gonna hold control, click on it so we can move them both at the same time. This is the one thing I'm not a huge fan of, is getting both of these things centered at the same time. It's got to be right about there. Control, click. And let's see. There we go. Now we'll have it stay there. And you don't want to hold it sitting there for a long time. You want the clip to start pretty immediately after this is completed. So. Once the last part zooms in, you pretty much want to split it right there. And have the clip start. And that's really all there is to doing this. 
you can change this up to any way you want. Add a, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this. But that's the general idea. So make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe. Like I said, we upload new videos every Sunday. And I hope to hear from you guys soon.